this is a toy. And if you have a lawn, you need to watch this, especially if you live in California. We just picked this up at the Home Depot. It's the 20 inch Ryobi and it's got the 40 volt brushless motor. I thought it would be great for doing the lawn because it's easier to use than the old gasoline mower that I had. Now I took it out on first mow and I thought it would be like a first date, except this first date was with a girl named Starla and she's got a felony record. Right when I started this mower, it sounded like it had low power. But I checked the battery and that was full, so I pushed it across the grass and it did okay for the first 20 feet maybe. And then I started noticing a problem. The RPM of the blade started slowing down and I realized that's because it's getting clogged inside the mower deck and it's not shooting grass clippings out into the bag. I know what you're thinking. He was probably mowing right after it rained the grass is heavy and wet, and it wasn't able to kick that grass out into the bag, but that's not the case. The grass I was mowing is pretty dry and really lightweight, but this mower was still not powerful enough to move those clippings back into the bag and avoid a clogged deck. The way it worked for me is I could push an empty mower for about 30 feet before I started noticing a sound change in the RPM. It started slowing down. That's how I knew it was getting clogged. So I had to lift that mower deck and it blew grass clippings all over the lawn, but then it was able to go for about 10 more feet. This is how it went the entire lawn and it was really frustrating. Watch what happens now if I just stop and let the mower try and clear that clog by itself the way that you would if you had a gas mower. The blade just continues to slow down until it comes to a stop and then you can hear that motor kind of struggling for a minute. The controller inside will then cut power to the motor and you have to do a complete restart from there. This battery pack is a 40 volt 6 amp hour and it's pretty hefty. Right on the box it says that you can mow for about 42 minutes which would cover about half an acre of grass and if you look at my yard I'm nowhere near that. It's about 700 square feet and I wasn't even able to finish mowing this lawn on a full charge. Of course, they only include one battery and a charger with the mower, so you've gotta buy an extra battery or two or three more depending on the size of your lawn. Now, if you have that Las Vegas style lawn that's just a postage stamp in front of your house, one battery is fine, but anything beyond that, you're gonna need more for sure. I will give this mower points. It's self-propelled and it drives the rear tires, which is way better than the gasoline type, which propel the front tires. You get better traction that way and it does go pretty fast as long as the mower's not getting clogged up. Overall, owning this mower for less than a week has been a lesson in frustration and disappointment. You look at the box and it says gas-like performance right there on the box but it is completely misleading. It is not gas-like, it's not even close. In my opinion, at least this one is not ready for prime time. This is a toy, nothing more. If you were there on the live stream two weeks ago with CP the Tool Addict, I remember that everyone in the comments said they wanted to see a review of this mower, so here it is. It's not a regular automotive tool or a repair video, but I wanted to put this out there just because it is so bad, I think the internet needs to know. Thanks for watching.